when we are happy, we go home to our mother to share our happiness. When we are sad, we go again to our mother to console us. Africa is our mother and we have to acknowledge her. We have to love her, tell her story and tell it to everybody in the world. Scientists tell us that human life began in Africa. Scientists also tell us that 90% of all life forms that have ever evolved on the planet Earth have become extinct. So maybe the greatest thing that Africa has done for the world has been to let the human race endure and has now dominated the planet. We are Africans. Let us tell the story and sing it over and over. My name is Selma Al Hassan. I'm the proud creator and quiz mistress of the Karimbu Quiz Show. Karimbu is trying to open the minds of our young Africans to their continent and their country. There is so much to learn and Karimbu opens the eyes of the contestants to the sea of knowledge out there. I'm so proud of the contestants as well. They have done so well in the preliminaries and the semi-finals. They have learned so much about Ghana and Africa. And now this is it. The final battle of knowledge is on. The three highest scorers in the semis, semi-finals are here now to duke it out for the ultimate prize of 5,000 CDs. The highest scores in the semi-finals went to Esther Ani, who scored a remarkable 73 points. And Bernard Afum and Alvi Ama were tied with an impressive 71.5 points each. And now we are here to see who comes tops in the finals. In the indigenous Ghanaian language of Dagbanli, when we say Karimbu, we mean reading or learning. That is indeed an apt name for the educational program that Karimbu is, which challenges contestants to read and learn about Africa. And now here are our three finalists. This week on Karimbu, Esther Ani. Bernard Afum Alvi Ama Welcome again and good luck to all of you and congratulations for the high scores that you got in the semi-finals. Here are the rules for the Karimbu quiz. Each contestant will answer 10 general questions, which are multiple choice. The general questions are worth 3 points each, giving the contestant a possible score of 30 points. Each contestant will also answer 2 map reading questions. The map reading questions are worth 5 points each, giving the contestant another possible 10 points. In Ultimate Karimbu, all contestants have the same written question. The Ultimate Karimbu segment is worth a total of 10 points, giving the contestant another possible 10 points. The total possible score for Ghana quiz is 50. The same rules apply for the Africa quiz, so each contestant then has a total possible score of 100 points. The winners for each preliminary quiz will get a prize of 300 cities, the second prize 200 cities and the third prize 100 cities. In the semi-finals and finals, the questions will come without the benefit of options. The six top scorers in the preliminaries will make it to the semi-final stage. The winners for each semi-final contest will receive a prize of 1,000 CDs each and the runners up will earn 10 CD per point. The semi-final contest will then generate three finalists who will compete for the first prize. The ultimate winner will receive 5,000 CDs and the runners up will earn 20 CDs per point. Time allotted is 3 seconds for general questions and 5 seconds for map reading questions. For the ultimate Karimbu, contestants have 90 seconds to match answers to the clues. When the time is up, there will be a buzzer which sounds like this. As usual, contestants have picked their numbers. Each number corresponds to a question. I wish you all the best of luck 
and I congratulate you again for being in the finals, coming this far and um, duking it out in the preliminaries and semifinals and making it to the finals. Even if you don't win the 5,000 cities, only one of you will win. Even if you don't win, you've done very well and you're still going to win a substantial amount of money. So with that, um, since you've already picked your questions, here we are with the first question. And I need for you to give me your first number. Annie, I call on you first. 21. Question number 21. If you live in the Eastern region and you are going to the Volta region, in which direction will you travel? South. All right, she said south. And let us exhaust her time and find out. I'm sorry, the answer is east. Question number 28. Where in Ghana can you find Nawun Supu, the centuries old art found on rocks and hills? The Upper West Region. All right, he says the Upper West Region. And we'll reveal his, uh, the correct answer. It's not the Upper West Region. The, the answer I wanted was the Gambaga Scar. But even if you had said Northeast Region, I would have given you that, but you, you know, you said Upper West Region. Okay. Eight. Question number eight. There was an attempt on the life of President Nkrumah in which Superintendent Salifu Dagati received the fatal bullet. In what year did Salifu Dagati die? 1962. Right. Well, let's um, exhaust your time and then we'll find out. <clears throat> and the answer is 1964. Esther. 14. Question number 14. Which Ghanaian doctor identified Kwashiorkor as protein malnutrition? Suzanne Ofuriata. All right, let's exhaust your time and find out who that doctor was. And um, you are right, it is Dr. Suzanne Ofuriata. She is the first doctor to identify Kwashiorkor as protein malnutrition. Bena. Question number 13. Where in Ghana can you find Pauve Island? The Volta region. Well, we'll see. Um, you said the Volta region. Okay, I can't give you that. The answer is the Volta Lake. The Volta Lake and the Volta region are two different entities. All right. Are we? Question number 17. Which region in Ghana is closest to the center of the country? The Bono East region. All right, let's see. He says the Bono East region. Let's exhaust his time. And it is the Bono East region. Let's start. 25. Based on surface area, the Volta Lake is the largest man-made lake in the world. How many square kilometers does it cover? 6.888. She said 6.888, I'm sorry, 8,000. Question 11. Question number 11. In which year did Ghana start using the CD as currency? 1977. All right, he says 1977. Let's see what it says, and it is 1965, so sorry. Nine. Question number nine. Who was the chairman of the National Liberation Council and head of state after the Convention People's Party government was removed from office? Who became the head of state? We get a AA FIFA. Okay, he said a FIFA. Well, the answer is General Ankara. He was the chairman and became the head of state. Esther? 16. The town of Yeji sits in close proximity to a body of water. What is it? Lake Volta. She says Lake Volta. Let's see what it is. And she's right. It is Lake Volta. Okay. Bellard. Question number 12. What is the full name of the person who invented the Veronica bucket? Veronica Bequin. He says it's Veronica Bequin, okay? Veronica Bequin. Okay. I'll be. One. Question number one. According to the traditional storytellers, who is the man who founded the Wagadu Kingdom with its capital, Kumbi Sale? Sumangu. 
access to Manguru. And no, it's not to Manguru. It was a man called Dia Bisisi. Um, he founded the Wagadu Kingdom. Esther? 24. Which of the re 16 regions in Ghana do the Nanumba people call home? Upper West region. Okay, she says it's the Upper West region. We'll exhaust her time and find out that, sorry, it's the Northern region. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Question number four. Question number four. To which polit political organization did Aqua J belong? The UGCC. He says it's a UGCC, United Vocals so. Convention, and we'll find out in a second that he is right. It is the UGCC. Alvi? 19. In which region can you find the Sisala East District? The Upper East Region. He says it's the Upper East Region. We'll find out in a second that it's actually the Upper West Region. You were, you were flummoxed by the word East. Next one. 23. In which town in Ghana can you find the fort called Fort Patience? Central region. Yeah, she says it's a central region. There are only so many Western regions. Western region. Which is it? You've been bailed out anyway. Ah, if you had stuck with central region, I would have given you part of it because the answer is Apam. I said which town? Okay. Question 13. Question 13. Who was the first woman Ghanaian chief nursing officer? Colonel Deborah. No, he said Colonel Deborah. Oh. I'm sorry, you are wrong. It's Dosia Kise. Lieutenant Colonel Deborah was also a military nurse and she became chairman of the Environmental Protection Council at that time. But the first woman chief nursing officer was Dusia Kise. Okay. Alvi? Six. Six. Mr. Akufuadu was once the president of Ghana. Which political organization did he belong to before independence? The Popular Front Party. Okay, he says the Popular Front Party. Yeah. So I'm sorry, that's wrong. It's the UGCC. I said before independence. The answer is the UGCC. It's one of the big six. Okay. Esther says 22. Which district do the people of Sandema belong? District. Up east. I'm sorry. The answer is the Bulsa district. Okay. Number 10. Okay. Okay, here we go. In 1967, there was an unsuccessful attempt to overthrow the government. Name one of the two army officers who were convicted and executed. J.J. Rollins. No. He said J.J. Rollins, but no, J.J. Rollins was never convicted and executed. Um, the answer I wanted was either Lieutenant Arthur or Lieutenant Yeboa. Okay. Okay, um, Alvi. 18. If you live in the OT region and you are going to the Bono East region, in which direction will you travel? West. All right. All right. Let's see. And you're right, it's West. Okay. Esther? 29. 29. President Liman was president from 1979 to 1981. Which region did he come from? Upper West region. All right, and he says, Esther Annie says is the Upper West region. Okay, you're right. It is the Upper West region. <laughs> okay. Um, Question number seven. Question number seven. Who was the first man to hold the position of vice president in Ghana? J.W.S. de Graaf Johnson. Well, he says J.W.S. de Graaf Johnson, and we'll find out in a minute that he is actually right. Okay. Alvi? Three. Three. Question number three. In 1914, the ruins of which ancient city were discovered in the southern part of Mauritania? In Bissali. 
He says it's kumbi sale. Okay, you stick with kumbi sale, right? Okay. And you're right, it is kumbi sale. Okay, Esther. Question number two. Historians say horses and dogs in ancient Ghana had saddles and collars adorned with what substance? Gold. You said gold. And you are right, it is gold. <laughs> Question right. five. Question five. What is the name of the head of the British colonial police who caused the 28th February shooting? Officer Imre. Imre. He says this, Officer Imre. We'll find out in a second that he's right. It's Superintendent Imre. And you are right because the superintendent is an officer. So, Alvi. 20. 20. One of the castles on the coast of Ghana is called St. George's Castle. What is the common name for St. George's Castle? I'm going to tell you the answer and you're going to kick yourself because you know it. It's Elmina Castle. Okay. <laughs> it's tough. 15. What military ruling council did Lieutenant General A. Okran belong to? National Liberation Council. All right. Let's see whether she is right. And she's right. Okay. Question 27. 27. Nag Bewa was, is or was the founder of the Mosi, Mampusi and Dagomba kingdoms. Where is his tomb located? To Haz. Okay, he says To Hazi. That unfortunately is wrong. To Hazi is his ancestor. His tomb is, is said to be located in a place called, a town called Pusiga. Um, Alvi. 26. In which region can you find the town of Mim? Oti region. He says it's the Oti region. And let us see whether he's right. Unfortunately, it's the Ahafu region. Ahafu region. I mean, thank you very much. We've come to the end of the segment on Ghana. You did well, and we're going to um, pause now and then come back and do the map questions on Ghana. So, um, we'll take a quick break now, and when we come back, I'll give you the update of the score so far. In life, nothing stays the same forever. At Quality Life, we believe that living a better life is your right. Leave all your worries to us and go on to live comfortably because you deserve it. Apply for the Quality Education Plan, Quality Funeral Support Plan, Quality Smart Plan, Quality Mortgage Protection Plan, Quality Investment Plan, Group Insurance Policies and Micro Insurance Product that guarantees you absolute peace of mind. Call us on 0556-589665 and let's see how we can help position you for a better future. Quality Life Assurance. We inspire trust. Some have called it home away from home. Others have called it friendly, comfortable and cozy. It's indeed a unique experience to visit us. At Susanna Lodge, our welcome is our logo, our service, our brand, and the joy you experience is our emblem. Located at Adembra Road at East Contourment. Well, this is it. We are inching towards finding out who is going to win the whopping 5,000 CDs. We finished the first part, which are the general questions on Ghana. And now we are going to ask the map questions on Ghana. But before then, let's see how the quiz is shaping up right now. This is still very early. There can be dramatic changes, as we saw in the semi-finals. But for now, we have Esther at 15 points and um, Bernard and Alvi tied at 12 points. 
I wish you all luck, continued luck going on. So now let's take the first math question and I call on Annie. All right. Two regions lie north of the western north region. What are they? Well, I have four region and I have four region. Well, she said it's the Bono Ahafo region and the Ahafo region, and we're going to find out in a minute that she's correct. And what's your second map question? In the northern part of Ghana, all the regions share a border with the upper west region except one. Which is it? Northern region. She says it's the northern region, and we'll find out in a minute if she's right, which um, she is right. Now, Bernard, what numbers? 34. Do you have? Apart from the Volta, Eastern, and Central regions, which other entity shares a border with the Greater Accra region? The Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, he says it's the Atlantic Ocean. We'll exhaust his 10 seconds in case he wants to change his mind and we'll find out if he's right. The Atlantic Ocean, you're right. Question number 33. Apart from the Western North region, which other region shares a border with the Western region? The Central region. Okay, he says the Central region. And he's right. Well done, Alvi. 35. Apart from the Upper West region, which other entity in Ghana shares a border with the Upper East region? The Northeast region. Okay, he says it's the Northeast region. So let's find out after we've exhausted his, his 10 seconds whether it is. And it is the Northeast region. The last one. 36. Apart from the Upper East and Northeast regions, what other entity in Ghana shares a border with the Upper West region. The Savannah region. He says it's the Savannah region. We'll see in <clears throat> a minute, in a second, whether he's right. And he is right, it is the Savannah region. All right, congratulations to all of you. You've all um, earned an additional 10 points, so the scores remain the same. We are now going to do the ultimate karimbu. And before then, let me give you an update of the scores. Each contestant has added 10 points to what they had before. So now we have Esther at 25 and Bernard and Alvi are tied at 22 points each. And we are just about to do the ultimate karimbu. They are each going to answer the same written question. And as all the other ultimate karimbus have been, it's a matching question. All right, I have a list of five personalities and you are going to match them with the clues. And the personalities are Joyce Ai, Melody Millicent Dankwa, Mabel Dove Dankwa, Mamiya Ado Dankwa, and Charlotte Osei. And you are going to match them with first woman pilot, first woman electoral commissioner, first woman member of the legislative assembly, first woman commandant of the police college, and first woman CEO of the Ghana Chamber of Mines. You have 90 seconds. The countdown starts now.
Okay, this is it. Pens down. Well done to all of you. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the answers I expect. And then I'm going to read out what you did. Joyce Rosalind Ai is the first woman CEO of the Chamber of Mines. Melody Millicent Dankwa is the first Ghanaian woman pilot. Mabel Dove Dankwa is the first woman member of the Legislative Assembly. Mamiya Adodankwa is the first woman commandant of the police college. And Charlotte Osei is the first woman electoral commissioner of Ghana. Now let's see what she did. Esther. Joyce Ai, you, you rightly said, first woman CEO of the Ghana Chamber of Mines. Melody Dankwa, you rightly said, first woman pilot. Mabel Dab Dankwa, first woman legislative assembly member. Mamiya Adudankwa, first woman commandant of the police college. And Charlotte Osei, first woman electoral commissioner. You got all five of them right, so you've nailed another 10 points. And now, Bernard. Chamber of Minds, yeah, you abbreviated it, which is totally acceptable. Even if you had just put the letter, I would have accepted it. Joyce Ayi, first woman CEO of the Ghana Chamber of Minds. Melody Millicent Dankwa, first woman pilot. Mabel Dab Dankwa, Legislative Assembly. Mami Adu Dankwa, Police College. And Charlotte Osei, Electoral Commissioner. Well done. Let's see what Alvi did. And he also said... Joyce Ayi, first woman CEO of the Chamber of Mines. Melody Melissa Dankwa, first woman pilot. Mabel Dab Dankwa, first woman legislative council member. And Mami Adu Dankwa, first woman commandant of the police college. Charlotte Osei, first woman electoral commissioner. You each added another 10 points. Well done to all of you. And um, we are at the midpoint now of Karimbu. We are going to take a break and when we come back, we'll tackle the questions on Africa and maybe at that point, the tie will be broken. Okay. In life, nothing stays the same forever. At Quality Life, we believe that living a better life is your right. Leave all your worries to us and go on to live comfortably because you deserve it. Apply for the Quality Education Plan, Quality Funeral Support Plan, Quality Smart Plan, Quality Mortgage Protection Plan, Quality Investment Plan, Group Insurance Policies and Micro Insurance Product that guarantees you absolute peace of mind. Call us on 0556-589665 and let's see how we can help position you for a better future. Quality Life Assurance. We inspire trust. Welcome back to Karimbu. I'm Selma Hassan, the quiz mistress, and this is the final. We are at the midway point. We finished all the questions on Ghana, and we are now about to reveal the questions on Africa. And um, before then, let me give you an update of the scores. We still have a tie. Um, the scores are Esther at 35 points, Bernard and Alvi tied at 32 points each. That is out of a possible 50 points each. Now we're going to take the uh, segment on Africa, which is also worth 50 points, and we're going to go through the same procedure. So without much ado, let me call on Esther for her to give me her first number. 46. Question number 46. The national flag of Niger has three colors. Two of them are green and orange. What is the third? White. All right. We will find out in a second or two whether it is white. And it is white. You're right. Benard. 42. Agalela, St. Brandon and Rodriguez are small islands that are part of which island country? Mauritius. Well, he says Mauritius. Let us see. We'll find out in a second. You are right. It is Mauritius. Well done. Alvi. 38. On which island can you find the city of Praia? Cape Verde. He says it's Cape Verde. We will exhaust this five seconds and find out that it is actually Cape Verde. Kudos to you as well. Esther, Annie. 
53. What is the currency in the Somali Republic? Somalia. Dollar. She's been bailed out, so let's see. It is not the dollar, it's the shilling. The Somali shilling. Okay. Bernard? 54. 54. In which year was the racist policy of apartheid finally repealed in South Africa? 1944. He says it's 1944, and that is way off. Because even in my lifetime, there was apartheid in South Africa. It's 1991. Okay. Alvi, it's your turn. 40. The Catalan Atlas of 1375 had, an, had the image of a king where the map of the Empire of Mali should have been. Who was the king? Mansa Musa. He says it's Mansa Musa. All right, let's exhaust his time and find out that it is indeed Musa the first, Mansa Musa. Okay. 67. The kingdom of Dahomey flourished between 1600 and 1894, specifically in which African country? Benin. Esther Annie says Benin. So let us exhaust her time. And she's right, it is Benin. Bernard, a film says question number what? 62. All right. Where in Africa can you find the city of El Alaouin? Western Sahara. He says it's Western Sahara. I will find out in a second that it is indeed Western Sahara. Alvi. 45. The Southwest Africa People's Organization is a movement which fought for the independence of which country? Namibia. He says it's Namibia. And we'll find out in a couple of seconds that it is indeed Namibia. Okay. Esther? 59. The flag of the Republic of Togo is made up of the colors red, gold, green with a star. What color is a star? White. She says it's white. Let us see. We'll find out that it is indeed white. Question 39. Question 39. Which water body is the longest river in Mauritania? Oh, sorry, you were bailed out. The answer is the River Senegal. It is the longest river in Mauritania. All right. Alvi? 49. The flag of the Republic of Sao Tome and Principe, like the flag of Ghana, has the colors red, gold, and green, and black. How many stars does the flag of Sao Tome and Principe have? One. He says it's one. Okay. Let's see what it says. And um, I'm sorry, the answer is two black stars. Esther Annie. 47. West Africa's older civilization is the Nok culture, which developed a thousand years before Christ. In which modern African country did the Nok culture thrive? Egypt. All right, she says it's Egypt. And um, sorry, I'm sorry, it's Nigeria. I did say West Africa. That should be a clue. 41. 41. Two of the colors of the national flag of Malawi are green and red. What is the third color? Black. Um, Malawi, okay. He says it's black. Let's exhaust his time and find out that it is black. Well done. Alvi, your turn. 55. Excuse me? 55. 55. What is the official language in South Sudan? French. He says it's French. Let's see what the correct answer is in a second. It's English. I'm sorry. Esther. 44. Which ocean would you associate with Angola? Atlantic Ocean. All right. She says it's the Atlantic Ocean. We'll find out that she's right. It is the Atlantic Ocean. Bernard. 65. 65. 
less than 300 years after Christ was born, an open-air theater which can seat more than 35,000 people was built in Tunisia. What is the name? The Alpha Theater. All right. You said it's the... Alpha. Yes. It's... um. I will, I will, I will, I'll give it to him. He was trying to pronounce amphitheater, I think. It's the amphitheater of Elgin, but you know, you really need to know it. At my discretion, I want to give it to you because I can see that you've studied it. Amphitheater of Elgin. Okay, Alvi. 66. 66. Which country uses the Kwanzaa as its currency? Angola. Okay, we will find out in a second. That you are right. It is Angola. Okay. Esther. 60. The eastern and northern borders of Tunisia are covered by which entity? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's right there, the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. okay. Three. 43. Which African desert is Botswana associated with? The Kalahari Desert. Well, he says it's a Kalahari Desert, and we'll find out in a minute that he's right. It is a Kalahari Desert. I'll be. 56. In which African country can you find the city of Khartoum? Sudan. Alvi says it's Sudan, and we'll find out in a second what it is. And it is Sudan. Okay. What's it? What is the currency unit which is used as legal tender in Rwanda? Shilling. Okay, she says it's a shilling. Let us see. It's a franc. I'm sorry. It's a franc. Okay. Three. Bernard has number 63. Kenneth Kaunda, first president of his country, was in office from the independence of his country in 1964 until electoral defeat in 1991. What country is that? Zambia. He says it's Zambia. We'll find out in a second that he is right. It is Zambia. Aldi. 57. What is the official name of Eswatini? The Kingdom of Eswatini. He says it's the Kingdom of Eswatini. And you are sticking to that, and you are right. It is the Kingdom of Eswatini. Esther. 51. Which explorer first sighted the seashells in 1502? French. Okay. She says it's fr French. Um, I, I, I wanted the name Vasco da Gama. But if Vasco da Gama was French, I would have given it to you, but he's Portuguese. Okay. 50. 50. Before the rise of ancient Ghana, part of Senegal was ruled by another empire. What is the name of that empire? The Mali Empire. Okay. He says the Mali Empire. I'm sorry, you are wrong. The Mali Empire is the Jolof Empire. The Jolof Empire. The Mali Empire flourished after the decline of ancient Ghana. And I'm asking about before the rise of ancient Ghana. Alvi? 58. The area called German East Africa was ceded to Britain in 1920 and decades later became an independent country called what? Rwanda. Burundi. Okay, German East Africa was Tanzania. I'm sorry. 52. Esther, 52. In 1972, the world's largest gem quality diamond was discovered in which West African country? Mauritius. Mauritania. I'm sorry. It's uh, Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Okay. 
Bernard. 61. The flag of Uganda has vertical bands of red, black, and yellow. What is the image in the center of the flag? The who? Okay. You said the O, the sickle and the O. No, um, let's see. No, it's a, a, a gray crowned crane, a bird. Are we? 64. The first African first lady of Zimbabwe was born in Ghana. What was her maiden name? Mother of Zimbabwe. A maiden name, that's a name before she became Mrs. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, Sally Hayfron. <laughs> um, this is it. We are done. We finished with the general questions on Africa and now we're going to take a break and we'll come back and do some map questions which pertain to the continent of Africa. Once again, you guys have all done very well. You've done maybe as well, if not better than how you did in Ghana. Okay, we'll take a break. In life, nothing stays the same forever. At Quality Life, we believe that living a better life is your right. Leave all your worries to us and go on to live comfortably because you deserve it. Apply for the Quality Education Plan, Quality Funeral Support Plan, Quality Smart Plan, Quality Mortgage Protection Plan, Quality Investment Plan, Group Insurance Policies and Micro Insurance Product that guarantees you absolute peace of mind. Call us on 0556-589665 and let's see how we can help position you for a better future. Quality Life Assurance. We inspire trust. Welcome back. Welcome back to Karimbu. Um, we've just finished the general questions on Africa and now we are going to tackle map questions which contain which pertain to the continent of africa before then i'm going to update you on the scores and there has been a dramatic change the tie is now at the top for first place bernard and alvi are tied at 50 points each and esther 47. we'll see what the map and um ultimate karimbu will bring to us so for now, I'm going to call on Esther to um, mention her first number. 69. Which country shares much of Burkina Faso's eastern border? Nigeria. Okay, I will give you that question because two countries actually share the eastern border. Nigeria and, um, I said Burkina Faso, Nigeria and Niger. So um, I'll give you that answer correct. 68. 68. What lies immediately east of Botswana? Yeah. Oh dear, I'm sorry. That was Zimbabwe. You were almost there. Okay, Bernard. 72. What lies immediately north of the Central African Republic? Chad. Well, he says Chad. We'll see. Yeah, he's right. It's Chad. 71. Immediately north of Chad lies which country? Libya. Yes, you're right. It's Libya. Alvi. 70. What lies immediately south of South Sudan? Uganda. Let's see whether Uganda is there after we've exhausted his time. Yes, Uganda is there. I'll be the next one. 
73. What island country lies immediately west of Cameroon? Sao Tome and Principe. He says it's Sao Tome and Principe. Okay, now, um, the, the answer I wanted was Equatorial Guinea. Okay, sorry. We are at the tail end now. We are about to um, end the show and to see who has come up tops to win the 5,000 CDs. We are about to take the ultimate Karimbu question. But before then, I need to update you on the scores. And we have, now we have um, Esther at 52, Alvi at 55, and Bernard at 60. So these are the scores as, we, as they stand right now. And we are going to take the ultimate karimbu question now i guess you're all ready and i'm just about to reveal the ultimate karimbu question so stand by for it and here it is revealed i've given you um, five countries and five entities what have you and you are to match them together the countries i've given you are Kivet, burundi comoros Cote d'Ivoire, and djibouti and you are to match them with the Horn of Africa, Queen Ablapoku, Perfume Islands, Melkwai, Indadai, and the Eskudo. All right, you have 90 seconds and it starts right now. All right, pens down. So now I'm going to tell you the answers that are expected. Cape Verde matches the Escudo because that's the currency that is used in Cape Verde. Burundi is Melkoa in the Dai. He was the first president of Burundi. Comoros has a nickname of the Perfume Islands, so Perfume Islands goes to Comoros. Cote d'Ivoire, of course, we all know the famous Queen Ablapoku who um, sojourned from Ghana to Cote d'Ivoire. And then Djibouti, of course, lies in the Horn of Africa. So these are the ex um, answers that I expected. And let's see what Esther had. Kivet, she correctly said the Eskudo, Melko and the Dai, Burundi, Comoros, Perfume Islands, Cote d'Ivoire, Queen Ablapoku, and Djibouti, Horn of Africa. You got them all right. And this is Bernard. Bernard had them all right. Escudo for Kivet, Burundi for Melko and Dadai, Comoros, Perfume Islands, Cote d'Ivoire, Queen Ablapoku, and Djibouti is the Horn of Africa. And Alvi, Alvi had them all right as well. Kivet, he said, Escudo, Burundi, Melko and Dadai, Comoros, Perfume Islands, Cote d'Ivoire, Queen Ablapoku, and Djibouti was the Horn of Africa. We've come to the end of the program. We've got our winner, and um, I'm proud of all the contestants. They all did very well. I'm proud now to present to you Esther with a brilliant 62 points. She did so well. And for the first time in the history of Karimbu, we have a girl in the finals, and I'm terribly proud of her. 
Alvi has 65 and the winner is Bernard with 70 points. So actually the three contestants standing here are equal in knowledge of Ghana and Africa. We are at the tail end of the show. The best part of the show, the contestants were wonderful. They've learned so much. And I'm going to call on Esther Annie right now to come and get her winnings. Esther got an impressive 62 points. And that in, in, um, translated into money is 1,240 CDs. So congratulations. Keep on smiling. And here you go. Okay, let's shake hands. And hold it. Hold it. And I'll hold the other one. Esther's winning. Well done, Esther. This is the first time in the history of Karimbu, and we've been on a couple of years now. We have a girl in the finals. Next time, you, you'll be the winner. Now I'm going to call on the next winner, Alvi Ama, who's um, winning. 65 points he had, and that translates into cash of 1,300 CDs. So shake my hand, give me a hug, and keep on smiling, and keep on reading. So here is, it is. Okay, there you go, well done. The winner of Karimbu season three, the whopping 5,000 cities that we've advertised over and over again goes to a young man called Bernard Afum. And I'm going to invite him now to come and get his prize. Here is his prize. There it is. And here you are. Shake my hand, give me a hug. <laughs> and here you go. All right. Congratulations and keep on reading, keep on studying, and I'm sure you'll do big, big things in the future. Well done, okay. Well, this is a show, we've come to the end, we've got it, we've crowned a winner. The King of Karimbu, season three, is Bernard Afum, he's just been given his prize. And we are so happy that you joined us. We have a lot more shows in the pipeline and we hope you'll join us always, anytime you hear Karimbu, it means learning and the children of Ghana are full of learning and they are learning all about their history and their geography. So I would like to take this opportunity to say bye for now and see you next time.